So after four weeks off with a broken toe, uh, which yes, is still broken, I am finally back out running. And toe doesn't actually feel too bad. My toe, when it's like straight, or when I do like toe raises, um, calf raises, that sort of movement of the toe, seems to be okay. It's only when I actually bend the toe like this that pain occurs. So as long as I avoid that, I should be okay. And as such, I've decided to finally get myself out of the no running mode and actually go running. Today, nothing too big, only about two to three kilometers. Since I still kind of need to assess how my toe feels after the run. The advice from the doctor was, four weeks, which is where I'm at right now, until I'm sort of cleared for running. Is my toe at an appropriate level for running? I don't know. It doesn't feel too bad. And I'm running now. It doesn't seem to be any pain. So maybe in three weeks, which will be seven weeks from the date of the injury, will I be okay to do the trail run? I don't know. Maybe. It kind of seems like I might be all right, but well, as long as I don't, stub it on anything else i think i should be okay a lot of the advice online for broken toes says you know anywhere between four weeks to maybe eight weeks plus for the recovery period which got me a little scared because from the date of the injury it was seven weeks from then until the six foot track marathon yeah having started now three weeks before the marathon yeah completely wrong idea um, if you're gonna do an ultra trail run, do not leave training until three weeks before the event. So if I end up going ahead with a six foot track marathon, which is looking likely, uh, this will be a good test to how can someone with a moderate level of base fitness and only three weeks worth of actual dedicated training in the couple of months leading up to the event, um, fare during a 45 kilometer ultra trail run and unfortunately there was another email sent out just recently stating that there is now doubt again about the possibility of the run going ahead uh, so as per a couple of videos ago you saw that sydney was absolutely drenched so the whole of new south wales was absolutely drenched in rain um, which was great for the bushfires and everything but created a lot of flooding all over the place and now the national park um, which the six foot track marathon is in it was closed because of fire damage then it was reopened temporarily and now it's been closed again because of flood and water damage so it may go ahead it may not it depends on when the track can reopen when the uh, the, the driving routes up to Janolan caves and to uh, Katoomba where the run starts uh, there needs to be a clear path for buses and uh, other items that are being sent to the finish line uh, to be sent there and to the start line. So if the roads are closed or if the track is closed, then unfortunately the race will be postponed or cancelled for 2020. But if they are reopened and it's all cleared that it's safe for hundreds and of runners to go through there, then the event will be going ahead and it's just it's hard to tell right now because we're three weeks out from the event and i believe that at least some of the tracks or trails or the the roads around that area are closed and are deemed unsafe currently but it's looking like it should go ahead keep an eye out on the website for anyone who's doing the run and keep an eye out in your email for any of these email updates that they've been sending so over this last week i have been in uh, Brisbane, which I quickly showed last week when I was flying over there. Uh, Brisbane itself, quite nice. I had a bit of a wander around. I didn't have that much time to myself, especially like during the daylight hours. So I'm sorry I couldn't take you much around Brisbane with me. But I did a quick walk around the South Bank, did a walk around Brisbane, saw some of the area. Very nice spot, especially South Bank. They've got this huge sort of, it's, it's on a river. Um, and then on the bank of the river, They've got a dedicated actual, it's like a beach. So they've got sand. Uh, it's only a couple of meters or a meter and a half deep or something like that. And apparently it's quite popular in summer. Uh, so when I went there, it was, of course, it was a week night and it's getting towards the end of summer or a little bit further into summer. So not as many people. It wasn't a public, it wasn't a holiday time or anything like that. 
but during the summer and the holidays, especially when the kids are on uh, school holidays, apparently that is a very popular spot for people to go. So if you ever get to go to Brisbane and you're on holidays, go check out South Bank. Really nice area. And then this weekend, I didn't go to Kung Fu yesterday. Instead, uh, yesterday and today, I actually participated in a couple of events with my Star Wars costuming group. Yesterday was the 65K Roses Walkathon, which was here in Leichhardt, just around the Bay Run, which is where I do a lot of running. Um, I didn't take part in the run or walk, of course, because I was in costume in my Star Wars, but that was raising money to uh, combat cystic fibrosis. And then today I went to an event called the uh, Sunday Fun Day, spelled S-O-N-D-A-Y, Fun Day, uh, which is the from the Save Our Sons Foundation, which is all about combating uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It is a type of muscular dystrophy which actually destroys the muscles. Uh, it's called the Save Our Sons Foundation because it mostly affects uh, boys. So this foundation was created so that they could try and get some fundraising to help out with a cure for this. So for the event today, I was dressed up as Director Krennic, which is the awesome character, the bad guy from Star Wars Rogue One, the guy with the huge white cape, part of the 501st, which is the bad guys of Star Wars, the Rebel Legion is the good guys from Star Wars, the costuming group. The idea behind the 501st is it's bad guys doing good. So we dress up as the bad guys, partially because they have some of the coolest costumes and we try and do good, either by attending charity events, bringing smiles to people's faces, and helping make events go as well as possible. And especially where it is a charity event, so either the event, event itself is running a charity, or if there is no charity, then we may actually run our own charity and raise money for a certain charity. Alrighty then, well that about does it for me today. I'm gonna finish off my run. Actually, I finished it off a little while ago and I've been talking to you, which has been good, and getting in some stretching while I've been doing that, which, is been, which has been great. Can't talk today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run content in every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.